Aloha peaches. So today I'm going to talk about being patient and consistent with your skincare. If you're new to my channel, I'm Lisa. I'm almost 59 years old and I have been a holistic master esthetician for almost 40 years, seven salons, and I've helped hundreds of thousands of clients. What that means is I do that without needles, procedures, or pills. And I teach you to love who you are as you age to understand that you don't have to have scar tissue, you don't have to have acne. Uh, wrinkles can be beautiful. I have done nothing to my face. I wear no foundation and concealer in these videos and I practice what I preach or peach to all of you. To all of my peaches, comment below, let people know that this is real, that the things I teach work. And I thank all of you for being here. The rule for my channel is if you can't say anything nice, move on and find what you're looking for. But if you ask with love and kindness below, I will answer you every time. So uh, you can go over to Facebook as well. Really like-minded people that are in our Facebook uh, skincare group and it is a private group. Also on Instagram, there's some postings and things. Um, I think one of the biggest things that I struggle with daily, and I talk to, no kidding, a couple hundred people a day, is that people immediately panic. And it's not everyone, it's you know just a couple people here and there. They panic the minute they break out. They panic the minute they get a little irritation because they think it's a rash. And they'll say to me, I've been using your products for a week, or I've been using your products for two weeks, and I wanna just reach through the phone or the camera or the email and say, and give them a hug and go, honey, <laughs> this takes time. This is years of damage. It would be as if you had gained 100 pounds, 50 pounds, 20 pounds. I mean, there is no way I will ever be 117 pounds like I was in high school. I think I'd look anorexic if I was. But I want to keep my body at a nice, consistent weight. I don't even weigh myself. So I'm always taking care of myself. But there are times I have kind of, you know, gained a few more pounds. And it takes, we all know, 10 times as much time to get rid of it as it was to eat the cookies that I loved so much. But it's about being consistent with anything in your life. It's about being patient with anything in your life. Our skin does most of the damage by our early 20s. And so because it calluses and thickens, because we've done so much to it, foundations, concealers, bad skincare products, perhaps our parents didn't put sunscreen on us when we were little or put a hat on us. A wide brimmed hat is everything. Uh, perhaps they washed our face with Dawn soap. I don't know. <laughs> you were a teenager and thought you had to put all these layers of foundation and concealer on because you saw it in a music video. I don't know. But because we do so much damage, our skin thickens and calluses. So when you start something healthy, just like eating, you have changes occur. You have things purge out. You have things clean out. It can be a whitehead. It can be a milia. Milia is like a little cyst locked under thick skin because the skin is being so dried out or um, so unhealthy that the skin tries to make oil to save itself and it gets lodged underneath. Um, whiteheads and blackheads are from the pores that are really hair follicles that have gotten dirt, oil, dead dry skin in them that creates sebum and no one's ever cleaned them out. Uh, you wear foundation, you use really bad products like, um, you know, many of the cleansers, I don't always like to name them, that are all over social media, CeraVe, Cetaphil, that are really lotiony water that if you really understood skincare and uh, dermatology, they give you so many pills and procedures that they wanted something very gentle to wash your face, but it doesn't do anything to clean you out or it isn't an antioxidant. And the very few really great ingredients they use, it's not a lot. You want a product that's concentrated. I'm always going to recommend peaches, but I also will always help you to find something that works for you, uh, the extra things that I recommend. So when you start to break out, it's your skin finally pushing everything out of those pores that are really hair follicles. It's your skin finally cleaning out and you have got to allow the process. If you choose not to exfoliate morning and night before cleansing, you're doing yourself a disservice. 
you have to loosen the dirt, oil, and dead dry skin, the grime as I call it, so that your cleanser can do its job to clean and feed the skin. So if you're a peach, you're exfoliating with Flawless Exfoliator. You're using Restore Cleanser to kill bacteria and fungus that is natural to our skin and that activates for many of those same reasons. Bad products, sunscreens, foundation and concealer, and sometimes even the water in your home. And really, you hear me say it all the time. But then you use Classic Cleanser to feed and heal your skin at a cellular level. If you're not doing things in order and you're leaving something out, and for some of you that aren't peaches yet, it's uh, the prescription sheet, the how to do the routine that is at peachesskincare.com on the frequently asked questions page. Compare it to what you're doing at home, even if you're not using peaches. If you're not doing these things in order, it's like I've done a science experiment for decades that works. You're not doing things in the order they should be done, the result will be a little tougher to attain. It'll happen, but not as quickly. Or I may have a client who says, oh, Lisa, you know, I've been doing everything. And then I put my olive oil moisturizer on and I'll go, whoa. Remember, I always tell you don't mix any other skincare products with peaches or with a family of products you're using. Because when we work with our chemists, we work with them to create something that works beautifully together. So there's no reactions. We use and source from wonderful places so that our products are organic. They are natural. You'll see the colors change. You'll see maybe the smell changes a bit. Uh, the texture may even change, but it's not that we've changed ingredients. It's that they are natural and organic, but they work together. So when you add something that may have chemicals or fragrance or color, it can really mess with the results of what healthy skincare can do. Another thing a lot of you are doing is you're not wearing your mask to bed. You're telling me you don't have enough time or you get home too late. You have to remember that I was a, you know, a, a mom and I still am who works and I work late into the night. I have clients all over the world. Wash your skin when you get a minute early in the day. Do your PM routine is what I'm saying. Do all of that even early before dinner, before the kids get home from school. If you're only going to go out for a walk later, that's okay. But do your nightly routine early. And then right before bed, get that mask on. If it means you have to run into the bathroom, throw the mask on and then turn off all the lights in the house, go and check on the kiddos, uh, brush your teeth, do it that way. But if you don't wear your milk of magnesia, one option, or peaches revitalizing rescue mask to bed every night, you are doing such a disservice. Think of the hours that you're sleeping. It would be like not doing your AM and PM routine for a whole day. Also at night is when our body heals itself and purges out impurities through many of the organs, including the largest organ of the body, the skin. So it purges everything out through the pores that are really hair follicles. And wearing milk of magnesia or revitalizing rescue mask is drawing everything out of the pores that are hair follicles. It is anti-inflammatory, it is healing, it is firming. And Peach's Revitalizing Rescue Mask has the beautiful added benefit of being lightening and brightening. If you're missing serums, those are your little soldiers that are pure uh, DMAE, uh, pure uh, antioxidants, uh, pure daisy flowers, uh, pure um, high, um, I'm trying to think of different, different um, uh, vitamin C's. Uh, pure vitamin A's, that uh, the glow, natural uh, transectdermic acid that is going to help your skin lighten and brighten, not bleach it. But when you're leaving out your serums, you're leaving out those beautiful elements that are going to really create cellular change quickly. Everything has a purpose and there is a purpose to everything with my products. Check what you're using and see what that purpose is. Be consistent. The minute you create change, the minute you start to maybe break out is not necessarily a bad thing. It may finally be your skin changing over, which takes about 28 days for that first time to happen. Keep pushing yourself forward. Reach out to me, Lisa at peachesskincare.com. Uh, don't run off to whomever 
and get a medication or uh, think you're having an allergy reaction. If you're having an, a reaction to anything, it's likely your environment, something you ate, uh, something you didn't even know you were aware you did, take an allergy pill. And if it goes away, yay. That was the easiest way to handle it. I just want to encourage all of you to take the time it takes to create the changes in your life. Nothing worth having is simple and easy. You have to work hard to get it. You know, moving to an island after all these years took a lot of effort at our age and it is the best thing we ever did. Um, changing our diet to be more plant-based took a lot of effort, but it's been so great for our bodies. You have those things in your life that you want to change and it takes this very second deciding you want to do it, having faith in me or whomever you want to find to help you do it, to encourage you and to bring you to that next phase. And then once you're there, it's really one step in front of the other and moving forward with faith and grace. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope I've encouraged you and I hope that I help all of you to uncover your true confidence.